Hi, welcome back to the Queen Styles Boutique YouTube channel. It is time for our weekly devotion. So with this weekly devotion, there are a couple ways that you can read or access the weekly devotions and I will link those below for you, whether it's through the website or Facebook or Instagram, I'll link those below for you. This week, the topic is how to be courageous. How do we deal with self-doubt? How do we gain courage to achieve the things, the great things that God has in store for us? You know, if we're being transparent, if we're being real queen, um, this is something, an area of my life that I definitely struggle with. And, um, you know, I strive to be like God every day. I, I strive to be a little bit more like him. And our God is mighty and he's courageous. And um, that's what I'm striving towards. Uh, the scripture reference for this week is Joshua chapter 1 verse 9 and I'm going to read it to you. It says, have I not commanded you? Be strong and of good courage. Be not afraid or dismayed for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. And like I said, this is something um, that I think a lot of people struggle with, myself included. And the thing is, Queen, you know, God, he has great things in store for us. He wants us to achieve great things. He wants us to set a new standard for our families. He wants us to achieve these great goals and these dreams that he's given us. But in order to achieve a lot of those things, uh, we have to be brave. We have to be courageous. We have to step outside of our comfort zone. And so we have to be okay sometimes with being uncomfortable. And that's really, really hard. That really requires um, having courage and being brave. So how do we do that? How do we overcome self-doubt? How do we become more courageous? Well, I have three practices that help me. And like I said, this is an area of my life where I'm I'm struggling with and I'm striving towards. So by no mean am I, um, you know, a perfectionist. Have I just perfected this area of my life? These are just three practices that I, I use whenever um, I'm just overwhelmed with self-doubt. So the first one is to acknowledge that I'm feeling intimidated. Acknowledge that feeling. You know, I think there is something so great um, when, whenever we practice self-awareness. And I just say, okay, you know what? I am feeling a, feeling a little intimidated right now. Um, I need to be brave, God. I need to be courageous. And I just don't feel that way. You know, I don't judge myself for feeling that way. It's just an acknowledgement. Um, I don't know about you, but whenever I start to judge myself for feeling a certain emotion, it is a downward spiral. You know, I start to like say unkind things to myself. I start to call myself names. I start to feel ashamed. And it's just this downward spiral. And God never intended for us to think that way, to live that way. So the first step is just acknowledging, having that self-awareness. You know what? This is happening. This is how I am feeling right now. Um, the second thing that I do is I ask God to help me be brave. I ask him to help me um, be confident. And I think sometimes um, I know that I'm definitely guilty of this. You know, I sometimes I think I, I might be bothering God with like, quote unquote, the little things, you know. Um, like there are so many different problems in the world, you know, the world hunger and on all these problems, you know, if I need confidence, you know, that's something so small. I don't, I don't want to bother God with this, but the truth is that our big God is concerned with what concerns us. Isn't that amazing? The same God who spoke worlds into existence is truly concerned with the fact that right now I might not be feeling with uh, confident with something. He's so concerned with right now, maybe I'm struggling in self-doubt in an area, I need bravery. You know, God desires that intimate relationship with us, but in order to create that relationship, that does require us to be uh, transparent and genuine and open and honest with him. So that's the second thing that I do. The first thing, just practice self-awareness, acknowledge that feeling. I am feeling a little bit intimidated by the situation. I need more confidence, God. I don't judge it. I just acknowledge that is how I'm feeling. The second thing is I go to God and I'm honest with him and I tell him that I need bravery. I need his strength. I need his courage. And then the third thing that I do, Queen, after I've prayed about it, 
um, if it's something that I feel just so strongly in my spirit that God, you know, is pushing me, leading me towards, I just do it. I just do it. And, um, you know, I, I think that with this step, there are always going to be multiple ex reasons or excuses not to do something, right? Like we can, we can list them out if we really, really wanted to. Um, and so I just, I just do it. I stop waiting. I do it afraid. I do it. Um, not having a lot of experience. I do it tired. I do it overwhelmed. I do it scared. I just go ahead and do it. And I do it knowing, um, especially if it's something that has been laid on my heart by God that's been put in my spirit, I do it knowing that God is just going to catch me in the next step. You know, that's, that's my confidence. And just to kind of wrap this up, what I, I guess what I'm really saying is that when we're dealing with self-doubt queen, um, we get our confidence, confidence from God. Um, I don't know if you've ever heard this term Godfidence before, um, but it's something that I believe in. You know, when I get my confidence, it's maybe not necessarily so much with myself and, you know, what I can do and my natural strength and my natural ability, but I get my self-confidence and I get my bravery because of who my father is, because of who he is, uh, because of I know that he loves me because I know the powerful things that he can do, because I know that he does desire for me to live a great life. That's where I put my confidence in. That's where I get my confidence from. So I just encourage you, Queen, if you're dealing with self-doubt today, if you need um, that confidence, just acknowledge that feeling, go to God. And number three, just do that thing, whatever it is that he's called you to do. Like I said, we get our confidence from him. I just pray that this uh, weekly devotion just really seeks down into your spirit. Let me know what you're thinking in the comments. If you have any other ways that you deal with self-doubt, um, subscribe so that you'll know when the next weekly devotion comes out. And also let me know in the comments if there's a topic that maybe you're dealing with. I would absolutely love uh, to do a devotion on that. I pray that God continues to give you the grace to walk as a queen.